Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, June 1st, 2016 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I surrender to the meta healing. And today we have some interesting energy going on. We have the sun today at 11 degrees. Uh, shifting into 12 degrees later in the day. So we have that healing energy of the 11, master healing energy, into the degree of 12, which is the degree of expansion. So from healing in this space that we're in into the next level of expansion. We also have the moon shifting from Aries into Taurus later in the day. And as the moon shifts into Taurus, we are moving closer to the energy of the dark of the moon and the new moon, which is coming later this week. Um, and we're also working still <laughs> with the Mars retrograde and building into a greater expression of this mutable cross that we've been working through. So there's kind of a lot going on. That's why this energy of surrender is really going to help you in this flow today. And surrendering to the meta. Meta meaning the higher, beyond. We have like this level of mental energy where we're kind of we're kind of just at this is where logic has taken us and spirit right now as part of the stretching is like can you go a little beyond a little bit beyond that logic let go of the need for logic and see what the universe is bringing in and to and through you in this energy helping us we have the moon in aries connecting to uranus at 23 degrees 23 degrees is that five energy so it takes us really into that mental component and uranus has a mental component to it as well but it is the liberator so the moon connecting to uranus is helping liberate us these ideas are going to be coming in and they may or may not feel logical what you need to look at in this energy is not whether it's logical or illogical. How do you react to this or respond, I guess is a better word, to this energy? Is it a yum feeling for you or is it a yuck feeling? Is it a feeling that draws you in or pushes you away? Pay attention as these ideas come in. The ones that draw you in, pursue that. It doesn't mean that you take it as it is. It may be something to work with, but move in that energy. We then have, later in the evening, the sun squaring Neptune. This is at 12 degrees. This is part of this mutable square energy that we're working through this week. Part of this, you know, part of this stretching. I think that's the best word. It's just stretching us. It's just stretching our comfort zones around our mental, around how we're showing up, around our spiritual, around our physical. All those parts, body, mind, spirit, soul, all mixed together, being stretched, expanded. And this in particular is going to be very expansive when it comes to allowing higher consciousness into our mind. Sun in Gemini, <laughs> square Neptune in Pisces. Sun in Gemini is willing to look, be curious, see what's going on. Neptune in Pisces is like... There's a lot more going on than you'll ever be able to see, than you'll ever be able to think about. And so you may have that resistance. This doesn't make sense. I don't know how this fits. I don't know how this is going to work. You know, that part of us that likes to control everything and have everything in alignment. And Neptune in Pisces is like, you've just got to expand through this. Expand through surrender. Expand through showing up. Expand by opening your mind and recognizing again, you don't have to know. You don't have to know the answers. So just see how you can stretch yourself. Just be open <laughs> and uh, just be open and just see. Because there's so much of this energy where we can't have that answer. And there's so much of us, <laughs> you know, the mind, the mind control parts of us that are like, but I really need the answer. I need the answer to move forward. And the universe is like, stop waiting for the answer. Just go, just move, just go. Uh, moon into Taurus in the evening takes us deep into the dark of the moon before we build to the new moon. Taurus is the last sign before we reach that Gemini new moon. Taurus energy, it takes us into our worth. We've been really working on our worth. But what I feel more so than worth is this Taurus moon is about getting into the sensuality. Sometimes when we can't make sense of what's going on, we have to start feeling our way through and noticing the synchronicities that the earth is giving us. So I encourage you to feel your way through. Feel into the yum or yuck. 
feel what's around you. You know, let yourself be comforted by the sensual and let the sensual help you through this dark of the, main, uh, dark of the moon phase. I actually, when I was writing all this down, one of the things that came up is a phrase that I love. And it's basically, until further notice, celebrate everything. And you may not feel so much like celebration. You may feel a little bit more of this energy, this mind, this control energy. But celebrate this. Celebrate this deep stretching. Celebrate the unknown. Because from the unknown comes miracles. Uh, the last card that I haven't shown you is the politics card in reverse. And I think we're taking off these know-it-all masks, those parts of ourselves that wanted to be competent and wanted to be like competent and confident. I know everything. I know everything that's happening. I'm in control. Take off that mask and just say, yes, and I don't know, <laughs> and see what the universe brings you. Um, and the roomy card is really helpful in this energy. And this is the feminine energy. Welcome to the feminine. Welcome to the feminine reawakening because the unknown and dancing in the chaos, that is feminine energy. And here it is, dance of the divine feminine. Um, and the Rumi verse for this is, if a tree could move from one place to another, it would not suffer the pain of the saw or oppressive wounds. If the sun and the moon stood like stood still like the rocks, they could not offer brilliance. How bitter the taste of water would be if the river stopped its flow, remaining still like seawater. When the seawater rises to become a cloud, it loses its bitterness and pours the rain of sweetness. I have given you only a few examples. You can figure out the rest. Break away from the self and enter the kingdom of love. And the oracle guidance is, you may feel unsettled as though the ground beneath you is not solid. You may touch it to see. Is it moving? Of course. Is it hurtling through the sky, spinning, tilted on its axis? <laughs> it's amazing you aren't passed out on the floor in utter dizziness. Yet you stand there imagining you have the choice of not moving. This oracle comes to you with guidance. Your life may feel as though it's being tipped upside down. Perhaps you feel as though the great beloved in a feisty mood has grabbed your ankles, is holding you upside down, and is shaking you wildly until your skirt is over your head or the pockets of your pants become freed of their contents, keys, wallets dropping to the floor in disarray. Your hair is messy, your bottom is in the air, and your sense of orientation is nowhere to be found. Blood is rushing to your head, and goodness knows you just want to be put down to have a moment to come to your senses. So, the beloved will give you that gift, but don't imagine that it will laugh, last, not laugh, last too long. Uh, let's see. If you just accept the great invitation to dance, there won't be much roughhousing going on. It won't be needed because your hair will already be a mess, your blood will already be pumping, and you'll be sweating and laughing and smiling and dancing. The great beloved will alive in you, which is all that grand seducer ever wanted in the first place. <sighs> this oracle brings you the message also. There is something that you're holding on to, a person, a place, a thing, a belief, a vision, some thinking, and you need to let it go because it wants to grow. It may grow and change into something utterly different, or it may grow into exactly what you are imagining. Whichever outcome, growth is happening, and you'll find you'll enjoy the way much more with grace, flow, and support, and less bashing of your head against the proverbial brick wall if you can let it happen. Don't worry if it seems as though your world is coming to an end or you're losing something you once loved. This is just the shaking about the great beloved. That, or yeah, that's what it says. This is just the shaking about of the great beloved to lead you into a deeper, sweeter dance of the divine being and becoming. Put your focus into your heart and realize you are more ready than you think. Now shake those hips, <laughs> stamp those feet, close your eyes, clap your hands, and there now, it's better already. So that's the energy from Rumi, which I think goes really well with this card. Dancing, shaking your hips, celebrating everything. Celebrate this awakening. Celebrate this opening. Got this. Even though it may feel tough. I, and, you know, I'm in it too. I'm definitely got mutable, strong energy in my chart. So I'm working through all this too. And it's definitely shaking me up. 
So that's it for today. Um, I'm going to tell you, I'm keeping my 30 for 30 sale going until Friday, the, or not Friday, Sunday the 5th. I'm going to keep it through the new moon. So if you haven't ordered one yet, or you'd like one for the future or to purchase as gifts, we're in the last few days of this sale. So buy one today. And thank you for supporting me, and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.